Thanks, Representative Hinchy. Uh, Representative Mulvaney. Dr. Bonanke, earlier today you said that the uh, committee will continue to closely monitor economic developments and is prepared to take further action as appropriate to promote a stronger economic recovery in the context, obviously, of, of price stability. Given that we're already at the zero bound on federal funds rates, um, you've already announced the decision to reinvest the mortgage-backed security position instead of unwind that, and you've announced Operation Twist earlier this month or late last month, depending on what month today is. Um, what's left? When you talk about further additional activity, what other tools are you contemplating? Well, I, I talked about some of them in the Humphrey Hawkins uh, testimony. Um, generally speaking, uh, there's a variety of things under the heading of communication, giving information to the public about how long and under what conditions we would hold interest rates low. That's one way of, of providing more stimulus. Of course, we could continue to buy um, securities in the open market would be a second way. A third relatively small step uh, would be to reduce um, the interest that we pay on the reserves that banks hold uh, with the Federal Reserve. Those are the, the main directions that I could uh, cite. Gotcha. And in the little time I have left, I want to make clear from my earlier comments that I'm not blaming the Fed for our inability in Congress um, to work out our fiscal situation. Uh, what I'm saying is that as dysfunctional as this body is, and it is, there's no question, the laws of economics still apply to us. And if you participate in a process that allows us to borrow money at less than 2 percent, which is what our effective rate was last year, I can assure you that we will do it. Uh, I've heard those discussions within my own party, within uh, the, the Congress as a whole. Why not borrow money? Now it's so cheap you'd be stupid not to. Um, and I, I assure you that there are uh, other moral hazards out there other than just your impact on, for example, the banking community. There is a moral hazard as it applies to this institution as well. Um, in layman's terms, what effectively the government is facing right now is a teaser rate. Uh, we're able to borrow so much money right now at a reduced rate, um, there's a very strong uh, impetus here to simply put off the tough decisions for another day. If the interest rates uh, today were at their historical average and the government was paying 5 or 6 percent on its money, I can assure you we'd be having a lot more longer, more serious conversations about what to do about this debt that we're having today. But uh, I in no way uh, meant to imply that uh, the Fed was responsible for our shortcomings. And with that, I yield back my time. Thank you, Representatives. Uh, Senator Lee. Thank you. Uh,